Hi, we are Erica and Davey, an adventurous, slightly crazy couple who has taken on the challenge that is a hurricane damage catamaran. We have come so far, subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. Take a chance, you never know how perfect something may turn out to be. So another thing now that we are out of the water, we love our underwater lights, but unfortunately one of ours stopped working when we were in the Bahamas. Um, and it actually looks like it took on some water, so it looks flooded, I'll show you. And as Davy was talking about the anti-foul paint, when we painted this the first time... Do you want to say when you painted it? <laughs> when we painted this the first time... When Erica I'm, painted them. I'm pretty sure I painted the whole light with the anti-foul paint, and it's aluminium as well, so the copper base would have not been the greatest for it. Um, so it did end up taking on some water, now the light's flooded, and that's why it doesn't work. But we've got a couple of replacements of these ones. Actually, these are by Lumatech, which are quite expensive. Greg bought them for us, actually, as a gift in Lupron. Um, so sorry, Erica killed one of them, Greg. But anyway, West Marine now stocks these with their own label on, and they, all they did was change the sticker, and inside it's still Lumatech, and it's identical. And they're much, much cheaper than buying them direct from Lumatech. So we've gone with the same ones, basically, so we're gonna replace them. But on the back end of the transom here, again, because we are using a copper-based um, anti-foul, um, what I'm actually going to do, the whole back piece here, I'm going to be using that product. This is the same one that I was talking about from the sail drives, super slick. Um, but I'm going to put a pigment, a black pigment in this one. So this whole section here will be done with that type of anti-foul. It's super easy for me to clean it as well with a rag from the sugar scoop and just give it a wipe over. But and it'll the, also protect. And it'll protect, it'll keep any copper-based um, anti-foul paint away from the expensive lights. So. Yeah, it's in the instructions, it actually says to leave a one inch barrier around the uh, the light. So then that Didn't it would... also say no copper based products within 10 inches or something? No, one inch it, it one said inch. to leave. Um, but then that's stupid because then one inch of your boat is not protected from barnacles and it's going to get all gross and disgusting. So this product will be really good, I think. So this is a bigger repair than you thought? Nah, this one is not. It's whoever was helping in the yard in Lubron. Because I got one of the boys to do it. Remember I had a broken hand? Yeah. They put on obviously polyester filler or something here. <laughs> and a little bit on the thick side. So that's probably why we got the bubbling up there as well. Yeah. But here there was, <laughs> I thought it was just where the screw had been in. And it had popped a little bit of fiberglass. Now when I've cut it back, there was actually some delamination in here as well. Hmm. So anyway, found that, executed it, rebuild that. And I'll fix up this at the same time. the black off? Oh that, to be honest, it's just the light and I've just wiped over it with acetone rag. It's put paint on it. I guess, and I painted it from the inside. Yeah. So, we will work on this sugar scoop. I've just done a load of prep, so when I make mix product, look at that, that's completely loose. Let's yeah. try from the other side. But that just peels off. Wrong product's been used here. Yeah. Good old Luperon. Good old Luperon. <laughs> quality, quality workers. We were happy to have the help, don't get us wrong. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. The people there don't have the experience, that's all can't find it. I suppose you can. There is a couple of places. Ocean World's got a good reputation for getting good help. So it can be done. That's all got to come off. Yeah, I'll get all the loose off and then I'll uh, touch it all up. Oof. So you're going to take the other oh, other one Yeah, I'm going to prep both sides. So I won't be painting today then because that's going to have to dry overnight. Look at that. There's not even any reason to have this because it's not forming anything. That's solid boat. I don't even know why this is on there. It's gonna come off all the way up to here though. Well, if it does, I'll sand it all and make it all square. I don't want to put it back in like this. No, that looks like crap. It's not it's even stuck. <laughs> That's just a screwdriver. But anyway, at least this area here, because you saw what you thought was cracking, and yeah. you thought it was the boat separating. It's not, it's just a, a poor touch-up job, that's all. The unexpected. It's always, it's called a boat. Well, we have some filler, right, in total boat. Yep, we have the proper stuff. We've got some prep work to do first. Sorry, also for the camera, can we just show that we're matching today? 
<laughs> Damien hates the way Matt. I love it. Oh, you think it's hilarious. I don't know where you get it from. She made little stairs. Little people need little stairs. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, a lot of what he did actually, but it didn't fall off, but we could see in certain temperatures and heat, there'd be like bubbles and you could feel it was soft and it was layers. And I think whatever product he was using, I don't think, to be honest, a lot of the fiberglass, I've now sanded this back and I've got it prepped. It looked very shiny. So it may be the ammo brush wasn't taken off or the sanding wasn't done previous to any of the... Fairing. Fairing, that's the word I was looking for, the fairing. So anyway, we got it prepped now. We can't live in the past. That doesn't matter. Um, so we're going to do this whole area here. We're also waiting for new topside paint. We've got non-skid paint. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use, we've got some Total Boat uh, epoxy fairing. So I'm going to practice with that the first time we've used that product. So we're going to pr try that here. Um, it's only a small amount that it needs. It's actually not too far away. So we're going to practice with that. And then as I get further up, I'm going to say, I've got to do a little bit more sanding up in this areas. And then we'll use the new topside paint which is a wet edge so we'll put that on and then we'll also do the non-skid so we'll make this a bit of a two or three day project where this sugar scoop should actually be finished maybe we'll actually do both at the same time probably actually the smartest idea but anyway we're all prepped and primed i'm going to give this a good wash down then an acetone wipe down while i pop down to the store because i need a couple of little supplies and uh, then we can crack on and try this new product from total boat So I've completely lost track. Compl completely she has, lost track. Because I asked her to bring me a sandwich and a cold drink. She's come oh, with a camera. Shit. I've completely lost track of what day it is that we've been on the hard. And I forgot about Davy's lunch. Yeah. Sorry, I'll go get that. Hey, go on. Hey guys, new product to me using the Total Boat Total Fair. This is an epoxy based fairing filler. Um, I have done a little test run because it's the first time for me using it myself. Um, done a little test run on one of the sugar scoops. I'm going to run you through how it goes, how it mixes and that sort of stuff. Just a small repair I've got to do on the other side. Now on the can itself, it doesn't actually have much in the way of instructions. Um, so, but it's all on the website. So Erica has been on there and been through all the drying times. It depends on temperature for time and stuff like that. So obviously the higher the temperature, the less work in time and the faster drying time, the lower to the temperature, the opposite direction. So, but all that information is available online for you. So this time I'm just gonna mix up a small amount and the way that you do this, it's literally, it's just by volume. So you wanna get approximately the same amount. The blue is definitely a little bit more runny. A tiny little bit more blue. I think that's about right. Just going to close these up so that they don't dry out. How are you doing? That's better. Now I'm happy. So it's approximately by volume, so the same sort of amount. So a pea size for a pea size makes 50% mix of each. Keep these nice and closed up as well so that they don't dry off and stuff like that. But it seems to go a long way. The first repair on the first sugar scoop, which Erica will show you in a minute, used quite a bit and it hardly looks like we've even touched the tin. So the way that you do this stuff, it says to mix it for, that's this instruction is actually on the tin, uh, the mixing instruction it says to mix it for two minutes or until you've got complete um, color change, i.e. It's, it's one solid color again, which is quite of a green color really. So gonna mix it up until she gets all even i've also found this morning so i've been using there's a little local um fiberglass store up the road can't remember the name of it i'll find out for you because they're actually really really good and they do lots of deliveries as well um they also i think they're the guys that also do this this is their product so this little fairing board here which i haven't used before it's a fairing board so it's nice and stiff but then you mix on it and you can use it then obviously with your spatulas and stuff like that to get everything and work with it. But then when you're done with it, you peel off one sheet and you're down back to a clean board. So I think that was ingenious. I haven't seen one of these before. Little things. It's the little things, isn't it? Because normally I'd use a piece of cardboard or something like that, bits of scrap. And to be honest, that's probably not the best thing because cardboard is obviously porous and you don't want something porous really to mix on because there's chemicals in here which are drying in the curing process. 
and if that's sucking into the cardboard it means it's not staying in the product for the right amount of time so not sponsored at all i just think it's a great little product all right so that's just a small amount that i need it's probably actually too much let's take it over and slap it on oh that's bright it actually spreads out beautifully and it's nice compared to the polyester based ones that I've used before i.e. Bondo car filler um, which is polyester based you literally have hardly any working time well even in this bright sunshine that I've been working on the other sugar scoop it does actually I haven't had a problem with it curing quicker than I can lay it up Well, that was easy. Super easy, eh? And then super easy cleanup. Oh, good. <laughs> the boards are ready to go again. Very good. simple product. All right, so we're back working on the sugar scoop today. So the goal is to sand off some of the fairing, make it nice and flat, prime it, paint it. Yep, so doing the touch ups here, it's starting to look good back into damn sanding again. I was trying to avoid that today. Um, just had to put a little bit more touch up of uh, fairing filler here on this corner. It was a little bit shallow. And I'm just trying to go around and get all the niggly little bits that nothing fits into. So shaping a bit. This foam sanding block is actually really, really good. I'm gonna pick up another couple of these this morning. It was, I only bought a couple of them, didn't know how good they were. And yeah, these are the go-to ones, especially if getting in all these funny little areas. Okay, so sugar scoops. So this morning we've put primer on. So this is a big step in the right direction. Um, it looks so much better than it did before. Pan around here so you can take a look. So all that fairing has disappeared. We do need to do a bit of sanding in a few areas where I think the paint went on maybe a little bit thick. Um, but this also can show us where we might need to put a little bit more fairing on. This primer is fantastic. It dries in like seconds. I mean, that's maybe good, maybe bad, I'm not sure. I think Davey got brush hairs stuck in the primer. We'll sort that out. But look how much better it looks. Now that's only step one. Okay, so while Davey's working on a few other projects this morning, um, I'm gonna set to work on painting the top side paint on the sugar scoops. So the sugar scoops, it'll be white uh, wet edge top side paint and then we're going to use the new non-skid paint on obviously the parts where we walk. So it's kind of a couple day project but today I'm going to use wet edge total boat uh, top side paint. I'm going to thin it out a little bit so I have better working time and I'm going to paint the outside areas of the sugar scoops. I'll show you quick. Oh that is so white on the camera. So we've already primed the sugar scoops so I'm going to be painting the top side around the edges. Um, the non-skid is going to go on the step, kind of where you can see it's been raised. So we are getting rid of the factory non-skid that is on the decks. And that will be an ongoing project as we paint the non-skid, kind of section by section. The reason we're doing this is the factory non-skid, in quite a few places, it has been damaged. Um, so to, to fix that and to make it uniform again on the whole boat is a huge prog project. So we've decided to use Total Boat non-skid total tread paint. Um, so it's gonna be, again, like I said, an ongoing project, but I'm starting with the sugar scoops because they are quite difficult to do. Um, if we do end up doing the decks when we're in the water, the sugar scoops need to be done on the hard. They're just an awkward place to work. Um, so let's get to it. Okay, it's not easy to see, but I have done the first coat of the wet edge. I haven't done wet edge in the middle bit here where the non-skid's gonna go, just because it's already primed, it's ready for the non-skid. Don't touch it, it's wet. Um, but I think for the first coat, it's pretty good. So now I gotta wait for that to dry. 
and then uh, sand it, and then another couple coats. As you've seen, I have painted the first, first and second coats of the top side paint on the sugar scoops. Um, I love the wet edge. It actually goes on really, really easily. Um, and I swear this paint goes for like ever. Um, you don't need to use very much. Think thin, as thin as possible, and it will come out almost perfect. So rolling and tipping, I haven't had to do the tipping process. Just roll it on nice and thin. Make sure you have no uh, roller marks and you're good to go. It dries beautifully as well. So this one that we've decided to use, the white wet edge. Sorry, I can't really see it. I tend to spill. Um, but it is a glossy finish, so it comes up really nicely. The next step is the non-skid paint. So we've decided to go in a light gray color. I have done the first coats on the sugar scoops themselves. And this is Total Boat's uh, non-skid paint total tread. So I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the camera up here. And I think I'll climb up onto the boat to show you and talk to you a little bit about what we found with that first coat of Total Tread. I do find when, when we start using a new product, I like to test it out on a smaller area before we kind of film too much with it, just so we know how to work with the product. And uh, then we can tell you exactly what we like, don't like, etc. about the product. With the non-skid, it goes on really nice. Again, any uh, Total Boat product, product you want to think thin. Um, but it has, uh, I believe on the container, it said it has wax balls in it. So it makes a non-skid kind of material. So we went with the light gray color. Um, the light gray, it's not as light as we wanted. So we've had it on here for a couple days now. I've only done the one coat. And the problem we're finding is when we walk on it with bare feet, we can only stand on it for about five seconds before it burns the hell out of our feet. Um, so it is a little bit too dark, I think, especially since we wanna do the rest of the boat in it as well. We'll probably get used to it. However, if we ever have guests on board, it might be a bit too hot. Um, Total Boat has been fantastic, so thank you so much, Megan. I have so many questions about all your products and how to use them correctly, um, so you've been awesome answering those questions. With the Total Boat products, you can actually mix their paints together. So, what we're going to do... Fox is going crazy. What we're going to do is we're going to get a gallon of white... Um, non-skid. So in that we can make our own lighter gray color. So we can mix the two together. It'll still have the non-skid. It'll still have enough of it in it to make it so that it's safe to walk on so we don't slip over. Um, but you can actually mix them together. So we are going to have some fun in some upcoming videos um, mixing that paint and seeing what kind of color creation we can make. Um, but that's it for this this week's episode, guys. So hope you've enjoyed the Sugar Scoop rebuild. And stay tuned for next week where the hard top will finally be worked on. <laughs>